Hey guys, it is Madison's Madness and this is the video you have all been waiting for. The remodel video. Okay, so I am going to do this video. This is probably going to be your go-to video. You're going to want to re-watch this one probably over and over until you're sure that you got the hang of it. This video is going to be how to shop a remodel step by step. So you're going to want to watch this all the way through. I'm not missing any steps. So I'm going to do part of it in the car, part of it in the store. Um, so let's get through this. All right. So I did write all my steps down so that I did not forget. So if I keep looking up and down, I'm making sure that I'm hitting all them boxes. All right. So the first step, create a list in your Dollar General app of usual remodel items. Okay. What I mean by that is like the items that I show you, like the five items that I give you at the end of my remodel videos, those are the items that I'm talking about. So once you get a good list going, and you'll do that by watching me and just keeping on adding the items that I'm giving you, um, you'll get a good list going, okay? So that's what you're gonna need to do. That's a great starting point. So just keep adding those items into your Dollar General list. And what I also would recommend is having a completely separate account for remodels only. Okay, so don't put anything else in your list besides the items that I am telling you to put in there. Okay, okay. Next up, change your location to the store that is going to remodel. Okay, that is so important. Do not forget to do that because if you're walking into your remodel and your store location is set to the wrong location, you're going to be scanning stuff and it's not going to be coming up a penny and you're going to be like, what the heck? And everyone else is going to be throwing stuff in their buggy and that's just going to be a big mess. That's a big no-no. So just double check that your store is in the right location. Okay, that is big. That is a huge tip. Okay. Um, you'll want to get to the store an hour before opening. And I know that seems like a long time, but it's not. And I'm going to give you a couple reasons why you want to do this. A, you'll want to get yourself settled, okay? Because your nerves are going to be all over the place. You're going to be a little jittery. Um, also, if there's a line forming, you want to be at the front of it. Okay, also, if there are buggies outside of the store, you're going to want one, okay? Because people are ruthless <laughs> with the buggy. So, if there's a buggy outside, grab one. Now, don't be stingy and grab like a whole bunch. Just just grab one, okay? Don't be stingy. Don't be, don't be crazy. We don't act like that over here on Madison Madness, okay? There's enough to go around. Just grab one. Um, also, it gives you a chance to go over your list um, that shows you ahead of time what everything is pennied. So it gives you a chance to go over and look visually at what is pennied so that when you walk in that door, you know what you're going for, okay? All right. Um, so a lot of times what I like to do is I, uh, this is part of getting to the store ahead of time, is I will get really close to the store and I will go ahead and connect to their Wi-Fi ahead of time, okay? Because if there's a bunch of people there, sometimes the last ones to get there have the most trouble getting onto the Wi-Fi. So I like to be there first and make sure that my phone is on Wi-Fi so that if I have any signal problems, I know that back up, I'm on their Wi-Fi. Okay, that is super important because you don't want your phone failing when you're trying to scan because that puts you in a really big bind, okay? Um, so that is super important to make sure that you have down. All right, so we went over the buggies. We got that. Just grab any buggies that you see outside. Again, don't be stingy. So if you have two people with you, grab two buggies. If you have three people with you, grab three buggies. But don't don't take all of them. That's just rude, okay? It's rude. Um, so again, start going over the list that you get familiar with it, okay? Because at this point in time, everything on your list that is going to penny is going to show a penny on your list, okay? It showed a penny at probably three o'clock in the morning. So you can start looking at your list and knowing what is already a penny. So that way visually in your head, you know, okay, 
uh, the sheets pennied, I'm going there first. Or the toys pennied, I'm going there first. That way you kind of have a game plan, all right? Here's another thing that you really need to get under your belt for a remodel. You need to have a plan, all right? You need to have a strategy. I would say go for the big ticket items first, okay? Whether you resell, whether you keep them for yourself, doesn't matter. Go for the things that are important to you first. Whether it be the bed sheets, whether it be the comforter that Penny, whether it be the Halo toys that Penny, whether it, I mean, whether it be the lamps or the clocks that Penny, um, go for what you want the most first. If you have a team, that's great. Split up. Be like, hey, you're going here and I'm going here. That gives you a better chance to get everything you want. After that, free for all. Just get what you can get. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that is a really helpful tip that I didn't know when I started doing remodels. I kind of just walked in and was like, oh my God, like where do I go? But you have to have a set path. Otherwise, you're going to be standing there in a circle like I did my first couple ones. I was like, oh, uh, like everyone was just sprinting. It was a madhouse. But if you know where you're going, then you are have better odds. And I even would have a couple backup. Like I would have sheets and then toys and then plastics or something like that. Just in case your first one doesn't work out and there's already so many people in that. If there's like 10 people in the sheet section, move on. Like go somewhere else. You have better odds somewhere else. All right, another thing. It's always best to bring more people with you with remodels, okay? And there are a couple reasons for this. Even, even if they don't know how to penny shop, it's still helpful, okay? So if they do know how to penny shop, then that's great. Then y'all have a great team, okay? If they do not know how to penny shop, you can quickly teach them, like, I mean, quickly teach them, go over with them, show them, like, that's great for the hour before. Be like, can you please go for these items? Even if they get some of them wrong, they'll probably get something right, okay? Also, the more people you have, the more you can spread out. So the more people that this person can go to sheets, this person can go to lamps, this person can go to toys, and then you come back together. And even though you'll have to split up the items, you'll still be better off than just one person doing it. I cannot stress that enough, okay? And then also, even if you don't have any friends at Penny Shop, bring at least one person with you because you're going to need someone to watch your stuff, okay? I cannot stress that enough, okay? Eventually, you're going to have so much stuff that you can't haul it around with you. And do not, I repeat, do not leave it alone because people will take it. Okay, people will take it, and I'm sorry, it just is what it is. I'm not, I mean, there's nothing that I can do about it, but they will take it. Okay, so even if the person doesn't know how to penny shop, they're doing you a huge favor by just standing with your stuff and making sure no one's taking it. That is the biggest blessing that they can give you. Okay, so be thankful that they're there because that I had to learn that the hard way. I mean, I was at a remodel, didn't have anyone with me, was kind of just learning it on my own and someone took all my stuff okay so just I had to learn the hard way so I'm doing these videos so you don't have to all right guys one thing I did want to mention is that don't forget to watch this video all the way through because I do have some items at the end of this video to add to your remodel list so make sure you watch it all the way through okay so my next tip to you is to scan each item Please make sure it's a penny before you put it in your cart. Um, that makes sure that the store doesn't get a mess and that the employees do not get angry. Because I'm telling you, the happier the employees are during a remodel, the better it's going to work out for you, okay? And I know right now that the app is glitching and it's showing you zero instead of a penny, which is a little concerning for remodel purposes. Um, but the good chances are that if it's showing you zero, it's actually a penny. So I will say that. Um, so it'll be okay. We'll figure it out. Um, so yes, just please make sure you don't leave your store a mess during a remodel because I think that's the most disrespectful thing. Um, so please don't do that. All right, my next tip is that sometimes they run out of buggies. There's too many people. <laughs> There's too many people and not enough buggies. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to grab trash bags, you need to grab storage totes, you need to grab whatever works, 
and start throwing your stuff in there okay it does not matter if you do not have a buggy do not let that defeat you just grab anything you can that will hold items and keep moving because time is money okay so do not lose time all right one thing that a lot of people do not know is that things penny throughout the day at remodels so just because it's not a penny at that moment does not mean that it's not going to be throughout the day so a lot of times what I like to do is once I do my initial like rundown and I'm finished for that moment and I've checked out and I've got my items, I will like go get lunch or like go do whatever I need to do and I will come back and I will rescan the entire store again and I cannot tell you how many times that I have walked away with like so many more items, okay? Because stuff does penny throughout the day. So that is a huge tip that not a lot of people know. Okay, so that's important. Okay, no one's around me. So um, one thing that I really like to do and I really like, if you can, go to the store the night before. Check all of your 50% off tags, okay? Because that stuff generally will penny, okay? So just know where it's at in your store, kind of see how much they have of it, um and just kind of know where everything's at because usually those 50 percent off stickers are the items that will penny also scan those items into your list while you're there so that way when you wake up you'll know if they pennied or not too and it will help you with your future remodel so just go the night before scan all the 50 percent off into it okay so that's something you need to do as well pro tip you can hit more than one remodel in a day. Is that not crazy? Okay, so the most remodels I've hit in a day would be three. And I'm gonna tell you how. I got in and out of my first remodel in 30 minutes. That's when you're gonna get the bulk of your items anyway, okay? So then I moved on to my second remodel and I got so much more stuff. Now, yes, people had been there, but people always forget things, okay? And as we go on into our remodel series, I will start to show you items that people don't generally know about, and those are the items that I go for at my second and third remodel because those are the items that people miss all the time. So at my second and third remodel, I will generally walk away with probably two to three buggies depending on how many people had been there, okay? So yes, it is possible to hit more than remodels in one day. And especially if you pull up to your first remodel and there's just so many people there, you might be better off to be a little late and just head on to your next one as fast as possible. You just have to make that decision for yourself. So if you are going to more than one remodel, you need to make sure to get to the register first, okay? You do not wanna be behind someone with 400 items trying to get through the register. You need to get there first. So if you do have more than one, pe one person with you, go ahead once you've got the brunt of your items and go ahead and start checking out. You can still be scanning and you can still be looking while they're at the register getting like checked out. You need to get to the register first so you can get out the door first because if the other people at that location know about the second remodel, odds are they're heading there next. You want to get out first. That doesn't mean rush. That doesn't mean skip items. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that you need to get to the register first remodels are about quickness you need to be quick okay if you're not it's you're not going to do well you're just not um it's not as thorough as um penny shopping is okay it's got to know what you know and go with it and be quick about it another thing about remodels is you really have to be confident in your abilities um because people at remodels that are like i guess i'll say pros can sniff out the weak ones okay so you need to go in there and act like you have done a million remodels and that you know exactly what you're doing otherwise they're gonna try to take advantage of you okay and you do not want that to happen and what I mean by that is they're gonna be like oh hey can you watch my stuff and then I'll give you some stuff the answer to that question is no no you will not watch their stuff okay They'll be like, oh, do you want to share and do you want to go halves? No, because probably, I'm sorry to say, but they're probably not going to give you half at the end of the day. Okay, they're just not. Um, so just be confident in your own <coughs> abilities. And I hope when I'm done with this remodel series that you will know everything you need to know to be 110% successful. 
All right, here is an item that sometimes pennies at remodels, okay? This Halo toy set right here. Here is the UPC right there. I'm also gonna read it out loud. Eight, eight, seven, nine, six, one, seven, six, nine, five, four, eight. All right, another thing that pennies that remodels a lot is workout gear. So this is the little um, back massaging thing. So here is a UPC for that. I'm gonna read it out loud as well. It's gonna be six, seven, two, one, two, five, zero, four, seven, eight, nine, seven. All right, now another thing to add to your list are these Dollar General latex removable gloves. Um, they a lot of times will penny at remodels. I'm gonna try to unscrunch it. See if I can show you this UPC. Well, you can't really see, I'm just gonna read it. Zero, five, one, three, eight, six, zero, 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 two, three, eight. All right, now I have gotten all kinds of different toilet paper at Remodels. Um, I'm just going to pick one, but it would be good um, in to go in your store and just kind of scan like a random assortment of toilet papers. So that way you're not missing any, you know what I'm saying? Um, so here is Charmin Essentials um, and the UPC for that is right here. And it's going to be zero three seven zero 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 nine six six zero four three. All right, another really popular item um, at Dollar General Remodels are in the shampoo area. I've gotten mane and tail a lot. Um, so the UPC for that is right here. And it is zero seven one four zero nine five four three two one four so i hope this how to shop a remodel video was helpful um i hope you learned a lot um take it all in we'll get you there eventually um i'm going to be coming out with more videos um that will definitely help with your remodel adventures i hope this one did i hope it led you in the right direction um, I continue to, I'm going to continue to make remodel videos to help everyone out there get, um, better, get more experienced, get more confident. Um, so thumbs up this video. Let me know in the comments what else you want to see. What are your questions about remodels? Let me know anything you want to know. Um, and make sure to like, share, subscribe, all the things. Have a great day or night, whatever it is for you.